My guest tonight is an orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Stephen Kai. Kairos. I've got to get your name pronounced right, Kairos. He's an orthopedic surgeon at the Robert Wood Johnson University Hospital in New Brunswick, New Jersey. And we don't have too many orthopedic surgeons on this show, so I'm real happy to have you on the show tonight. And we're going to talk about something that's very, very interesting and new, hip replacement surgery. But you've got a new approach to that. So, uh, Dr. Kairos, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Thanks for having me on. Well, thanks so much for taking time on your Saturday evening. So now you, you do hip replacements in a little different way. Tell us about why someone needs a hip replacement and how you do it that's a little bit different. Well, hip replacement surgery is uh, uh, typically offered to patients with end-stage and debilitating arthritis of the hip. Um, most patients have osteoarthritis or normal wear and tear of their hip. Um, and um, the anterior approach... Uh, which is the procedure that I offer my patients, is a tissue-sparing alternative to traditional hip replacement where I can approach the hip through a natural interval between muscles, which <clears throat> provides the patient for less pain, a quicker recovery, improved mobility, uh, because we don't um, cut um, or detach uh, critical muscles and tendons around the hip. All right, so, so now let's take someone who's, let's say, 60 years old, and uh, it's a woman who's walking around with a little pain in her hip. Is she ready for a hip replacement, or when is that woman ready? Not necessarily. Um, typically, after a full evaluation, um, I generally offer patients uh, conservative uh, treatments such as anti-inflammatory medications, uh, physical therapy, uh, the use of an assistive device such as a cane, uh, perhaps um, one or uh, several cortisone injections to uh, reduce the pain in the hip. Um, typically, hip replacement surgery is reserved for patients who have exhausted uh, conservative treatment and the, the, the debilitating pain that they're experiencing has uh, really become a quality of life issue and uh, they're no longer doing things that they used to once enjoy doing in their lives. Well, my guest this evening is Dr. Stephen Kairos. He is an orthopedic surgeon at Robert Wood Johnson University Hospital. And by the way, the type of uh, doctor Dr. Kairos is is what Robert Wood Johnson is attracting now. He trained in uh, orthopedic surgery at Brown University, did a, uh, a fellowship in trauma, orthopedic trauma at Brown, and then was at the Joint Replacement uh, Fellowship at the Hospital for Special Surgery in New York City, and we're lucky to have Dr. Kairos at Robert Wood Johnson. So now now, now, if someone had a traditional uh, hip replacement uh, earlier and needs a, a, let's say, a redo, this is sort of a complicated question, can you go in that new anterior approach uh, the second time around? Um, it is possible in certain circumstances, um, depending on uh, what needs to be uh, redone or revised um, and whether the, the, the prosthetic components that are attached to the um, the bones around the hip need to be redone. It is possible in select situations to go through the anterior approach, but that's not the usual. That's not the usual case. So now, hip replacement is traditionally a a fairly painful procedure. Some people say I'm lucky enough never having to <laughs> had a procedure like that. But now, how does the anterior approach uh, reduce the pain? I mean, that's one of the great advantages uh, of it. It's, it certainly is. Um, <clears throat> Because of the way we uh, perform the surgery, we ap approach the hip from the front, and so we're able to um, uh, go through a natural inter interval between muscles without uh, detaching the tendons that we typically would do for a traditional approach, and we're able to do the procedure the exact same way, the same prosthetic components, and because we really haven't violated uh, those muscles around the hip, it's a very quick recovery for the patient. Um, they get up and go pretty much right away, and uh, they can get back to walking normally sooner after the surgery than with a traditional um, hip, hip uh, replacement approach. And that's terrific. My guest this evening has been Dr. Stephen Kairos. He's an orthopedic surgeon at Robert Wood Johnson University Hospital in New Brunswick, New Jersey. And if you don't know where Robert Wood Johnson is, just uh, take a map of New Jersey and put your hand right in the center of the state. It's in the geographic center of the state. It's about 40 minutes from Manhattan, maybe 50 minutes on that train. There's a uh, train stop 
right, uh, I'd say about uh, a block from, uh, from the hospital. And they have a great website, by the way, and it's rwjuh.edu. That's www.rwjuh.edu. And you can look on the website, and you can look at uh, Dr. Kairos' uh, background and other orthopedic surgeons at the Robert Wood Johnson. You can choose from orthopedic surgeons or any specialty there. And if you want to, give them a call, 888-MD-RWJUH. That's 888-MD-RWJUH. Well, thanks so much for taking time this evening, Dr. Kairos. It's been a pleasure having you. My name is Dr. Arthur Perry. I'm the plastic surgeon with the radio show on WABC. You can go to my website during the week. It's perryplasticsurgery.com. After you go to the Robert Wood Johnson website, that's rwjuh.edu. Thanks so much for great engineering, Mike. Have a great weekend. We'll see you all next week.